The second 3D effect you're going to learn is the 3D revolve effect. And use it whenever you want to use a flat object and revolve it so it looks 3D. The whole process reminds me of creating a pot. You take a piece of clay and revolve it till it looks like a normal 3D object. Now, the most important thing to bear in mind when revolving objects is that the starting path, open or closed, has to be a front-facing, flat half of the object. Let's take a look at a simple example. I have a half of an object that in just a second will become a nicely looking table lamp. If you take a closer look, you'll notice that it is a flat, front-facing shape and, as you probably already noticed, these paths are open. This uh, just shows that you don't need to have closed paths to revolve objects in 3D space. If you now go to the 3D effect submenu of the effect menu and choose Revolve, you'll get a set of options that is the same as with the extrude and bevel effect, but this time let's make things a bit different, let's make the lamp more realistic. Change the position preset to front and turn on the preview so you can see what you're doing. By default, most probably the surface option you're going to have on will be the plastic shading one, but it's not making the lamp look too nice. If you just switch to diffuse shading, the lamp will look more realistic. The 3D effect won't be too strong. Hit the More Options button to adjust the amount and intensity of lighting effects. And there is no right or wrong here. Adjust the settings until you like the final effect. If your object is not looking smooth enough, you can always increase the blend steps amount. When you're happy with the result, just press OK. The effect you applied is still adjustable. If you change your mind, you can always go to the Appearance panel, double-click on the effect's name, and adjust the Revolve settings. Remember that if you don't change the effect into simple paths, Illustrator will recalculate it whenever you change the object size or simply move it. And if you have a complex shape, this can be really stressful for your computer, so when you know you won't be readjusting the shape anymore, just select it and head over to the Object menu and choose Expand Appearance. As soon as you do that, the object will be converted into simple paths and the effect won't be editable anymore. This is how you can use Revolving to create 3D objects. What's important to understand here, in order to avoid any ugly surprises, is that the object you'll be using as your base should be flat and cut in half. Now we still have one more 3D effect to talk about and it's the Rotate effect. Let's take a look at it next.